What's up guys, how's it going? Um, I'm gonna show you my vest now. Uh, I just showed you guys the black metal jacket that I made. Um, but uh, this is basically the vest that I've been building since I was probably 15. So, uh, yeah, what I'm doing here is that. Uh, some of these patches aren't from when I was 15, but a couple of these are some pretty basic entry level bands. Uh, and they mostly get demoted to the back. Hold up, that's a bit loud. Even though it's probably a good thing if that's loud, because it sure is a lot more important than what I'm about to say. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm just going to cut into it and show you my vest. Uh, we're listening to An Alignment of Dead Stars by drawing in the light, if you couldn't tell. I just turned this on, so it's only track two. But uh, yeah, so I guess I'll just start up front on this side with Black Sabbath. Uh, this is a cool poster this patch from 1978 tour or whatever. This is my favorite band, and I know it's basic entry level, but that's why I put it up front, is it is my favorite band of all time. So, uh, I felt like it was reasonable to put it there. Uh, I think it's a super cool patch, though. I don't know if you'd put a Sabbath patch on your vest, but it's mine. Uh, next is Napalm Death patch right here. Uh, nice die cut logo patch that I got when I saw them. Really glad with that one, or really happy with that one, it's cool. This I got for free before I even liked this band, but this is Blind Guardian with the logo patch. Um, I got this for free at FYE. One day when I went there and I bought a couple of CDs and what did I have in my hand? I think I had a Merciful Fate CD and one of the guys was like, hey, you want this? And I was like, yeah, sure, and he just gave it to me along with a pin by the sword. So that's cool, I'm glad to have that one. Uh, next is one I got when I saw them. This is the Glittery Mayhem De Mysterious Domes of Thanos patch. Uh, they, they had this and then the one that's on my vet, on my jacket, which is white with black lettering. Um, this one's cool, but it fits on here a lot better than that one. So yeah, that's Mayhem. Next is a uh, Revocation logo patch that I got when I saw them at Summer Slaughter last year. I actually just saw them again with Morbid Angel, but uh, it was a super killer show. I'm really happy that I got to see them. Again, uh, they're one of the best modern death metal bands going. Next is Venom's album Black Metal. Oh my god. Yeah, Venom's album Black Metal. Uh, I wouldn't put that there usually, but it was already there, and I don't feel like taking it off and reselling it somewhere. And uh, I think it's earned its way right there. So that's uh, it for that side. Next is the other front side, which is only three patches. Uh, most of the patches I didn't think deserved to be on the front, so they're on the back. Next is on this side, Ace of Spades by Motorhead patch. Not much I need to say about this other than it's coming apart. Next is Philosophum by Burzum album art patch. Uh, very cool patch. Really happy with that, how that turned out. Looks really good. And uh, right below that is the Morbid Angel patch that I got at the show. Very cool vest. Oh my god, it's hot in here. Hold up. I don't know why I even have a hoodie on. It's June. Anyway. Oh, also I got this shirt with the one of these band played my band's um, album release party for a show they played too and I bought their CD and uh, a shirt oh my god okay so here's this one I'm gonna go to this side first because there's less on there first is summoning's stronghold album art which is kind of on the front this one turned out pretty well too looks very nice Next, okay, here's on the back. Top one is Entombed, uh, like the Wolverine Blues era Entombed or something, with like the Chinese lettering or whatever the hell. Uh, it's cool, not the Entombed patch I would have bought nowadays, but I bought this back in the day. Next, right up below it is Havoc, uh, the new logo. Uh, 
buddy picked it up for me when he saw Havoc a couple of months back, which is really cool to have, because Havoc's one of the best modern thrash bands there is right now. And right below that is Jungle Rock. Uh, Order Shall Prevail patch, I know they're coming out with a new record this year, that'll be really sick. I'm a big fan of these guys, considering they're pretty much local. They're from about 20 minutes away from where I live, uh, so that's pretty cool. Big fan of Jungle Rock. Now the other side, I'll go right here first. Up top, Ozzy, you know what I'm saying, entry level. Uh, how do you not give it up to Ozzy? I'm like, are you kidding me? Next, Danzig. Uh, Danzig's awesome. I know a lot of people agree with me on that, so there's nothing to complain about there. Right below that is Megadeth's Peace Cells cover. Uh, very cool patch. Super nice, super sturdy patch. A little small, though. Right below that is a Crisian patch that I got when I saw them at Slumber Slaughter. Very cool band live. Really cool patch, too. Next is uh, That Shalt Not Be Unearthed or something by Nile. I think that's how it is. What should not be unearthed. I also got that when I saw them at Summer Slaughter. Um, very cool patch. So that's it for that side. Even though there's a couple more, there's one last. The long line. Uh, top is New York Black Metal, uh, Black Anvil. Do you know them? It's kind of like a black thrash band. Pretty proggy at some points. There's a lot of clean singing. I'm a big, big fan of it. Next. Cannibal Corpse patch I got when I saw them on Summer Slaughter. Uh, very glad that I got that. This is a super cool patch, I guess. Next, some more entry level, but uh, Amon Amarth, big fan, still have been, always really have been. I'm a big Amon Amarth guy, so I can't complain all that much. Don't listen to them as much as I used to, but uh, yeah, they're still awesome. Another entry level one, Iron Maidens the Trooper. Gifted by a friend definitely deserves a spot in here. If you don't like Iron Maiden, I don't know what's wrong with you. But, yeah, cool, cool patch. Right below that is my buddy's project, Goat Whisperer. Um, oh my god. Yeah, Hell's Override and Euphorian Suicide patch. Very cool patch. I would uh, check them out if you have not. It's kind of punky black metal. Right below that is Assorted Diabale by Dimu Borgir, very nice high quality patch. Uh, then down here, Hate Eternal, got that with the new album's box set or whatever the hell that was, with the flag, the CD, and the uh, patch. And Abysmal Dawn, got that when I saw them open for Cannibal Corpse. And right there, or right above that, is my bottom rocker. The Black Dahlia Murder, awesome patch, love the Black Dahlia Murder, I mean a lot of people do, for a very good reason, they're probably one of the, they are like the spearhead of the modern death metal thing, I mean and they have a great logo. And the back is Mayhem's De Mysterious Domes of Thanos. order up eBay. So, I'll give you, oh, before I do that. Um, also, the inside signed by all of Jungle Rot, and that is a mystery fluid. Uh, yeah, very cool. So I'll give you a full version vision of the front, real quick. That's the front. Not even close to being done on the front. And here's the back, which is substantially closer to being completed. I think it's nice looking. It's coming along nice. Most of the stuff is demoted to the back for a reason. Uh, yeah. So that's it, guys. I like to see these vests in a lot of videos. People don't make them like they did anymore. Or at least like they used to. Um, I'm a big fan of looking at videos about them, so... Uh, leave me a video response. I'm sure I could find 300 of them. But like, uh, yeah, if you directly tag me in it, it'll be cool. I'll, def I'll definitely get to watch it then. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions about my vest or 
anything, any comments, anything, drop them down there. Uh, I'm going to continue doing this one. I'll probably do some updates and then I'll have a final version of it eventually. There's never really a final version of Vest, so. Well, anyway, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed watching that. So, take care. Keep it greasy.